Been like around campus, what's it been like just in this athletics department right now? It's been great. It's a tremendous amount of excitement and energy, and, and honestly, uh, appreciation for the job that Matt and, and our guys have done throughout the course of this year. You know, after the disappointment of last year, just having to kind of wear that for, for 365 days and, and just answer the bell in the way that we have has been really gratifying, really fun, and uh, and we're not done yet, which is even the most fun part of it. You've been around basketball for so long, I've seen a lot of good teams. I have. What's so unique about this? I think just the, the resolve. I mean, just the, the, the mental toughness that this group has shown, uh, given the slings and arrows that have come our way all year long, to never let that affect them. And we've played a really, really non challenging non-conference schedule. You know, we haven't lost an end game yet outside of the Big Ten. That's the only game we've lost all year long. And the fact that we've been able to do that with all the questions and criticisms and doubts about who we are, what we can be, I think shows you an awful lot about how tough these young guys are. What has he done this for the brain of Purdue uh, Athletics? Oh my God! I mean, it's uh, the, the incredible story of where he came from and the improvement. You know, the curve of his improvement is as steep as I've ever seen a player in the course of four years. And I think he's actually gotten better during the season. You know, his game just evolves. Like every time he takes the court, he's a little bit better than he was the last time. And, and the fact that you know he's generated so much attention. Some of it is you know, people coming at him because they, they, they've never seen anybody quite like him. And I get that, but the way he's handled it, the grace and the, the way he's interacted with our fans. And people don't see him staying an hour and a half after a game at Mackey Arena to sign autographs, uh, to, to take pictures with people. He's just you know, incredibly accommodating of all of that. It's, it's not typical at, at all, particularly in today's environment. So I, I'm really, really proud of him and, and the young man that he's become, how he represents himself, his family, Purdue. It doesn't get much better than that. Thing, this fan base. Are you guys expecting a lot of black and gold? Oh my gosh! You better, you better believe it. I, I saw something today where the secondary ticket market folks said that it's the, the, the case is running like double last year, and they said it's all because of Purdue. Purdue folks have bought more than the other three schools, states combined, and that doesn't surprise me. I mean, they, folks have been waiting for this for a long time, and they're gonna they're gonna make it count for sure. What can this mean for the? What can this mean for the university, for all your other sports, for the John Purdue Club, for the Boilermaker Alliance, yeah. all of that stuff? I think, Brian, what I think this does is it answers that question finally of, hey, can you really do it at a national level? Can you really be a program that can win in, in a big-time sport at the highest level? And it's no longer, yeah, we think we can or we, you know, we're trying to. We're, we're doing it. And I think that changes the whole conversation. I think it, I think it makes you look at yourself a little bit differently, people look at you a little bit differently and, and in all positive ways. And you carry yourself a little different, a little different bounce in your step, a little bit more pride, and conversations are easier to come by when it comes from a fundraising perspective. Yeah. And honestly, for other coaches, you know, I think they, they need to take this on. And I know what Ryan Walters already said, you know, I, I've seen what, what he said today to us. This, this just shows what Purdue Athletics is capable of. It's now up to us to do, to do our job in football, to match what, what basketball is doing. I'd like that same theory to be you know, spent or, or distributed throughout our entire program. I think all of our coaches should look at this and say, well, heck, there's a, let, let's understand how this happened and why it happened and, and, and why not us doing the same kind of thing in our own environment. So that's a, I, I think it, it, there's no downside. This is all this is all upside for us. Did you sense before this season that Purdue as a whole kind of needed that validation? <laughs> among your people, among national people, among whoever? I think that you know the, the, the disappointment of last year and you know kind of the, the gravity of that mm. caused us to say you know what I I'd be lying if I said boy you know what we we, we, we got to put that we got to find a way to put that aside and the fact that we you know, from day one have just played with this like edge uh, that this group has that has been nothing but I think in, in pointed towards putting that putting that away uh, is. I think, I think it is important. I think it's important that we were we answered the bell and answered it in a very definitive and resounding way uh, to the point now where those conversations are over with. We're, we're, we're done with that. And it's, and it's really nice to be able to turn the page and now talk about all the good things and focus on the good things that we have in place and just build on that. I, I personally believe this, Brian, and you probably... This is not the last time we're going to do this. What we, now that we've kind of broken the seal on this deal, I, I think we're going to be we're, we're going to be a team that's going to get back here. You know, we're going to get our share of these in the years coming, years ahead. Matt, Matt is far from done in terms of taking teams to this level, in, in my opinion. You're a longtime basketball guy. What should this mean for the way people perceive Matt Painter? Oh, I mean, I think people have respected Matt. People that know and that understand who he is and how he how he does things. 
uh, they, they've, they already knew it. But the, 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 the folks that are just a one step outside that circle and don't really know and just judge you on based on what happens in March, well, again, I think I think now he has finally closed the case on whether or not he can get a team to the to the Final Four. And, and, and I think, again, we, we didn't come here just to be here. We, you know, and, and that's been the message our guys, I think, have, have sent and our coaches have sent to the guys. Hey, this is, we didn't come here to just celebrate. We came here to play two more games and win two more games. Uh, I think I think his if he needed any further stamp of, of validation, sort of the good housekeeping seal of uh, of approval, he's got it now. It's, it's unquestioned. Excellent, good housekeeping reference. <laughs> hey, uh, how does an athletic department monetize this kind of thing? Is it just T-shirts? Is it well, you know, like, I think there, there's certainly there's some of that. Yeah. There's some there's some ancillary things that happen, but you know, in today's world, I think it helps us. From an NIL perspective, you know it, it, those conversations now say, "Hey, you want to continue to having a great team? This, this is these are things we have to do." I think donor conversations become a lot easier down the road because people want to be around success; they want to invest in success. Uh, we're already selling every ticket in Mac, and we can't sell anymore. So, so there, you know, that, there's no, there's really not no upside to be had there. But, but it does help everything else. I think the whole kind of a you know a rising tide lifts all boats. I think everything gets just a little bit better. We, you know, you, you just do a little bit. A little bit more than you were able to do before when you had these kind of moments.